Today we're going to discuss how to create a scheduled Zoom meeting with the necessary settings to avoid common Zoom errors. Let's start by logging into Zoom. On your web browser, go to zoom.us and click Sign In. Next, select Sign In with SSO. Your company domain is WCPSMD. Click Continue. The first thing we want to do is check your Zoom settings. On your left sidebar, please click on Settings. Scroll down to the Authentication area and ensure that you have only authenticated users can join meetings toggled on. You'll know it's on when it's blue. Ensure that the staff policy is a default policy. If it's not, you can click Edit and correct that. Finally, be sure that only authenticated users can join meetings from web client is also toggled on. Once you have completed your Zoom settings, click on Meetings in your left sidebar. From here, we will create a recurring meeting. Please note, teachers should not use their personal room for their class meetings. Unfortunately, Personal room settings do not behave how recurring meeting settings behave and therefore should not be used. Oftentimes your students will have trouble accessing your personal Zoom room. Click on Upcoming. Click Schedule a Meeting. Give your meeting a name. You can add a description if you'd like. Next, let's pick the day that the class is going to start. We'll say it's tomorrow, so I'll select December 11th. And I can leave my Zoom room on all day if I want. So if I like to get started at 8 in the morning and I often meet with students who need extra help before school starts, I can choose 8 o'clock a.m. And then I might set my duration for 10 hours so that I can get back in there and open it and close this room as many times as I want during the day. If you are a secondary teacher and you have different classes, I would recommend that you do a different Zoom room for each of your classes so that you don't have to worry about being Zoom bombed by a student who's not in your current class. Next, we're going to click Recurring Meeting. We want it to meet daily. We want it to meet every day. So we have to choose an end date. Zoom only allows us to push out 45 days, so the last possible weekday would be, for me, January 29th. Please consider adding a calendar reminder to your Outlook calendar to go back and push this date out. All you have to do is click Edit This Meeting, and then you can click on the end date and adjust it. Next, scroll down to Meeting Options and ensure that Require Authentication to Join is selected and that staff policy has been assigned. Once you've done that, click Save. Notice that your invite link may look a little bit different. Embedded in your URL is now your password. You know this because there's PWD equals in the middle of your URL. This is indeed your passcode even though it doesn't look correct. Just know that it's been encoded for security. Now we'll want to copy the invitation and share it with our students. Click on Copy Invitation. I really don't want all of this information. I'm going to scroll down and copy the Zoom meeting link. Then I'm going to open up a new tab and go to my classroom. For those of you with multiple classroom, please ensure that you are choosing the correct one. Most of you have a home base area set up under classwork where your Zoom meeting link is located. You'll want to edit that link and add the new one in. Be sure to click Save. Now your meeting link will be updated so that when your students visit your classroom, they can click on the new Zoom link. You'll need to follow this process for each meeting you have created. Also, if you need to schedule a meeting with parents, you will not follow these instructions because you will need to open up the 
Zoom to allow people in that do not have WCPS addresses. If you need information on how to do this, please contact your library media specialist. If your students tell you they do not see your new link, please ask them to refresh their Google Classroom page. That may be all it takes. Please remember that if you've already scheduled Zoom meetings, you can go back and change your settings to match what you have learned today. Please do this for each meeting. If you have any additional questions, please check with your library media specialist or the digital integration team. Thanks for watching.